Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pager here, once again with another video for you guys on The Flash Season 3. So as you might be able to tell from my voice, I'm pretty sick, but I'm gonna, you know, soldier through the video, I guess you could say, despite my throat feeling like I swallowed some sandpaper. But make sure to stay till the end because I do have another giveaway to announce. So in the past couple of days, while I've been sick, the release dates for all the CW-based TV shows were released. Which is awesome, of course. It all kicks off with The Flash on October 4th, then Arrow on October 5th. Next is Supergirl on October 10th, and Legends of Tomorrow on October 13th. But why do Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow start a week after Flash and Arrow? Well, the first point to bring up is the episodes per season for each show. I'm not too sure if Supergirl will have 23 episodes in its second season like Arrow and Flash do. You would think it would, just based off, you know, the similarities between the shows. And Legends of Tomorrow costs a lot to produce because it's an ensemble team, it's an ensemble show, might I say. So it will most likely have less episodes, around 16 to 18. The other reason for Flash and Felic sorry, Arrow starting a week earlier is, well, Flash controls the universe now, really. It's the most popular show and it just makes sense to kick off the new seasons for all these shows with your biggest attraction or your big star. But this video isn't on all of that stuff. This is on the big Fortnite crossover we will get in Flash Episode 8 and Arrow Episode 8. Obviously, I don't know if it will be Episode 8 in Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl at that point. And we will also be talking about a possible Superman appearance in that big Fortnite event as well. So firstly, what is the main thing we should expect in this big Fortnite crossover over all of the CWDC TV shows? Well, the simple answer to this is the one a lot of you may be thinking of, and that is the Justice Society of America. Now, the JSA will be set up by Legends of Tomorrow for the most part, and they will most likely be meeting various members of the JSA over the opening episodes of their season, building up to the big crossover where everyone from Supergirl, The Flash, uh, Arrow, and all of the Legends of Tomorrow and stuff like that will take on a big evil. One big question I see a lot revolves around the fact that Supergirl is starting the crossover, which a lot of people don't think will work, seeing that she is on, you know, Earth, whatever she's on. But what I think will happen is that in the previous episode of Legends of Tomorrow, the last episode of all the shows before this big crossover starts, we will see a massive setup which allows Supergirl to start up the crossover in a way that makes a lot of sense. The other big question surrounding this big crossover is the inclusion of Superman. Obviously, unless you have been living under a rock, you would know that Superman will be in the first two episodes of Supergirl Season 2, played by Tyler Hetchlin, I think that's how you, or Hecklin, I think that's how you pronounce his name. So he was cast over the past week. It's actually funny, he's actually in Australia at the moment, promoting his new film, as well as going to some of the, you know, pop culture conventions down here. So I was actually surprised that they announced it while he was down here. So obviously they made the decision a while ago that he would be Superman. They just waited till now to announce it. Now, even though they have said Tyler will only be portraying Superman in the first two episodes of Supergirl Season 2, that is actually just for now. They wouldn't give away future appearances of him after that because, well, they should be a surprise to us if we see him again. It would be a hugely wasted opportunity if Superman wasn't on the crossover for a portion of it at least. Like, really, would they really skip out on the, or the chance of Superman meeting the Flash? Like, that would be awesome if that happened on screen. So just let me know what you think of all of that in the comments section below. So let's get on to the giveaway. So all you have to do to be in the running for this giveaway is leave a like on the video, be a subscriber, which hopefully most of you already are, and also, most importantly, answer this question in the comment section below. What DC character would you love to appear in any of the DC TV shows that hasn't appeared on them before? So you couldn't do like Huntress and stuff like that. It'd have to be someone that we haven't seen on this interpretation of the DC TV shows. It could be someone that we've seen from Smallville, um, but it hasn't appeared on like Arrow, Flash and all of that. Well, what do you win if you win this giveaway? Will you win a shirt? Uh, it can be like Flash, Green Arrow, Superman, there's heaps of choices. 
Um, I've done this giveaway before and the person that won it, or the two people that won at that time really enjoyed the shirts and said they were pretty good quality. So all you have to do is just leave a like, be a subscriber, and answer that question in the comment section below. It's easy, and you could win a pretty cool shirt. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully my voice didn't sound too weird. As I'm speaking, it sounds really weird, but hopefully it doesn't come across too weird over the microphone. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Goodbye.